Hey there, beer drinkers. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sean, aka Kid Ugly. It's your first time, welcome. If not, it's good seeing you again. Uh, today, I'm doing another one from the Guinness Brewing Company. This is their Harp Lager. This is imported from Dublin itself, um, coming in at 4.5% alcohol. No IBUs on here. Um, there is a code on here. I'm not exactly sure how to read it to see what the date is, but. It says, a harp is a premium lager imported from Ireland, brewed in the classic Pilsner style, as created by a Guinness German brewmaster in 1960. This crisp lager has a fruity nose and clean finish with hints of malt and citrus hops. Um, I've never had harp. This is going to be my first time trying harp. I've had Guinness, uh, regular Guinness, Guinness Extra Stout. I've had stuff from their Open Gate. I can't remember the name. The one that they have over here in the States. I have done a couple of them on this channel. Um, I have not seen anything recently from them, so I haven't been able to review them in a while. Um, but it's Guinness. It's a classic. It should be good. Let's get into her. Pour some here. In my York Hollow glass. Quite the head on it. Definitely got that clear lager look to it. Very clean. Got that golden straw. Uh, kind of a pea yellow going on. About three fingers of thick white foamy head. Look at that. It smells like a macro lager. Um, yeah, I do get some of that fruity hopness that they were talking about. A little bit of citrus. A little bit of that, like, cardboard, wet blanket kind of a smell, though, at the same time. Let's see if I can get it good. Yeah, that spin got me a lot more fruit going on. Got rid of that wet blanket and the cardboard smell. Got more of that citrus. Um, it's not so much like a, not so much like an orange. Um, more lime, grapefruity. It doesn't smell bad once I, you know, got it aerated a little bit. But now it's fading back into that wet blanket, kind of crackety, biscuity malt. More macro esque lager kind of a smell yeah, let's get a drink on her while we're at it you know clean mm, super clean got that nice sweet fruity up front on it right of the tongue Not like a super sweet, but it's a decent sweet. Got that good crisp lager that you're looking for. Clean. I am getting some citrus notes, but not, not crazy citrus. Not enough to really pick up and be like, this is orange, this is mandarin, this is grapefruit this is like a little cutie um but you can tell that there's something there you do get some of that biscuity malt not real strong overpowering it is a nice clean lager with that good citrus fruity taste I'm just going to pour the rest of it in there. I don't care. And I could drink this all day long. I mean, 4.5. It's meant to be drank all day. Um, it's from Guinness. So I imagine a six pack is probably going to run you. Oh, probably around like 12, 13 bucks. I'd imagine for a six pack of this. You should be able to pick it up. I'm assuming if you've seen... You know, Guinness somewhere you should be able to find this. 
I picked it up at a Wegmans in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Yeah, it is just your your traditional clean, crisp lager. It's it's not bad. Uh, I'm not I'm gonna give it 3.75. I mean, it's it's doing everything it's supposed to. Do. It's knocking it out of the park. It's nothing too crazy about it, but it's a decent all day drinker. Um, if you see it, pick it up. They take a 0.75. I mean, it's, it it is good. It is good for what it what it is. I'm, I'm liking it. It is it's very very drinkable. Um, if you like what you saw, you know, hit the like, comment, subscribe. I do these videos all the time. Uh, try to get them out on a regular basis. So thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.